today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1700, the magnitude 9 Cascadia Megathrust earthquake occurs off the west coast of North America. In 1784, Ben Franklin expresses concern that the turkey will be the symbol of the United States. In 1788, the first Europeans settle in Australia. The date is now called Australia Day. In 1790, Mozart's magical opera, Cuse Fantute, premieres in Vienna. In 1808, the Rum Rebellion, the only successful but short-lived armed takeover of the government in Australia. In 1833, Donizetti's opera Lucretia Borgia premieres in Milan, Italy. In 1837, Michigan is admitted as the 26th U.S. state. In 1838, Tennessee is the first state to outlaw alcohol. I find that kind of ironic. In 1841, the United Kingdom takes Hong Kong from China. They gave it back 156 years later. In 1861, Louisiana becomes the sixth state to secede from the U.S. In 1870, the U.S. Congress authorizes Virginia to rejoin the Union. In 1875, the electric dental drill is patented by George Green. I guess that's good. In 1880, American General Douglas MacArthur is born. He died in 1964. In 1905, Austrian-born singer Maria von Trapp is born. She became a household name because of the sound of music. And yes, she was real. 1905 had two really cool things. The Kulinen diamond, weighing 3,106.75 carats, is found in South Africa. It's worth about $2 billion right now. In 1915, the Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado is established. In 1920, a former Ford Motor Company executive creates the Lincoln Motor Company. Later on, he sold it to his former employer. In 1924, St. Petersburg, Russia is renamed Leningrad. In 1925, iconic American actor Paul Newman is born. In 1926, Scotsman J.L. Baird demonstrates his invention, the very first television ever. He did this in London. In 1934, the Apollo Theater reopens in Harlem, New York City. 1935, American baseball player and broadcaster Bob Uecker is born. Mr. Baseball announces for the Milwaukee Brewers. In 1939, principal filming begins on Gone with the Wind. In 1940, Nazis prohibit Polish Jews from train travel. In 1942, U.S. forces first land in Europe. They landed in Northern Ireland. In 1945, Soviet troops discover the horrors of the Auschwitz concentration camp. In 1948, Executive Order 9981 ends segregation of the armed forces in the United States. In 1949, the Hale Telescope at Palomar Observatory sees its first space light under the direction of Edwin Powell Hubble. In 1950, the Constitution of India becomes effective. They are now a republic. In 1954, groundbreaking begins for the happiest place on Earth in Anaheim, California. Disneyland, of course. In 1955, legendary guitarist Eddie Van Halen is born. In 1956, Buddy Holly has his first real recording session. In 1958, American funny lady Ellen DeGeneres is born. In 1960, the Oakland Raiders enter the American Football League. In 1961, the great one, hockey's Wayne Gretzky, is born. In 1962, the Ranger 3 spacecraft is launched by the United States. It misses the moon by 22,000 miles. Oops. In 1965, Hindi becomes the official language of India. In 1967, the Chicago blizzard strikes. It leaves a record 23 inches of snowfall, causing 800 buses and 50,000 automobiles to be abandoned. People just walked away. In 1970, the fifth and final studio album by Simon and Garfunkel is released. Bridge Over Troubled Water wins the Grammy Award for Album of the Year. In 1971, Charles Manson is convicted of murder. In 1972, Serbian flight attendant Vesna Bolovic survives a 33,000-foot fall without a parachute. 
She was the sole survivor of a bomb on the airplane. Guinness gave her a world record for that. In 1974, The Exorcist wins the Golden Globe. Al Pacino does as well. In 1977, a Soviet figure skating pair are the first to perform a quadruple twist lift. They did this during the games in Helsinki. In 1978, the Great Blizzard of 1978 strikes the Ohio Great Lakes region with heavy snow and winds up to 100 miles per hour or 161 kilometers per hour. In 1979, CBS premieres the Dukes of Hazard TV series. In 1980, Frank Sinatra's concert in Rio de Janeiro sells 175,000 tickets. Amazing. In 1985, Amadeus wins Best Drama at the 42nd Golden Globes, Romancing the Stone, one for comedy. In 1986, the Chicago Bears beat the New England Patriots 46-10 in Super Bowl XX. In 1988, Phantom of the Opera begins 4,000 performances at the Majestic Theater on Broadway. In 1992, the Washington Redskins beat the Buffalo Bills 37-24 in Minnesota during Super Bowl XXVI. In 1996, Les Miserables opens at Music Hall Theater in Duisburg, Germany. In 1997, Super Bowl XXXI at the Superdome the Green Bay Packers beat the New England Patriots 35-31. In 1998, President Bill Clinton denies having had sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. But he did. In 2001, a huge earthquake kills 20,000 in Gujarat, India. In 2003, during Super Bowl 37 in San Diego, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Oakland Raiders 48-21. In 2004, a whale explodes in the town of Tianan, Taiwan. A gas buildup in the decomposing sperm whale caused the explosion. In 2005, Condoleezza Rice becomes the first African-American woman to be named U.S. Secretary of State. In 2006, after more than 150 years, Western Union delivers their last telegram. In 2009, actor Jamie Foxx releases the song Blame It on the Alcohol. In collaboration with T-Pain, it becomes Billboard's Song of the Year. In 2010, James Cameron's Avatar becomes the highest grossing film of all time. In 2013, the United States Sentencing Commission is hacked by Anonymous in response to the suicide of computer programmer Aaron Schwartz. In 2014, the NFL Pro Bowl is played in Aloha Stadium in Honolulu. In 2015, Libby Lane is ordained as the first female bishop of the Church of England. In 2018, a boiler breaks in the main power station in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, leaving residents with no heat and minus 16 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. The outage lasted three days. Wow. In 2019, the 64th NHL All-Star Weekend begins at the SAP Center in San Jose, California. In 2020, LA Lakers basketball legend Kobe Bryant dies in a helicopter crash in the hills above Calabasas in Southern California. He is considered one of the greatest players in the game's history. And in 2021, Antony Blinken is confirmed by the U.S. Senate as Secretary of State. I've got more videos in front of you. Why not check them out right now?